Hi everybody, I'm Janet Ingle. Um, I'm so sorry to not be actually live with you this summer, um, but uh, welcome to my oboe studio down here in Indiana. Um, I'm going to play some pieces for you in lieu of actually uh, being live and performing for you. Um, this first piece is by uh, Alyssa Morris, and uh, it's called Summertime which feels appropriate to the season in which we are in. Um, it's based on a painting by American painter Mary Cassatt. Um, the image is of a uh, mother and daughter in a boat on a pond looking at ducks, uh, sort of the epitome of a long, lazy, beautiful summer day. And uh, I hope you enjoy this lovely work. I feel like I couldn't um, perform for the Baroque on Beaver Festival without including some Bach. Uh, this is the uh, Corrente, the second movement of his Suite for Solo Flute. Uh, of course, I'm playing it on the oboe because that is how I roll. Um, it's a charming uh, dance-like number, uh, which turns like dramatic in the second half, and so I take some dramatic liberties. Thank you. 
these next three pieces are some of my favorites. Um, they are by Benjamin Britten from his uh, six Metamorphoses after Ovid. Each of them is this really cool little character study. The first one, Pan, um, is the story of Pan and Syrinx. Syrinx was a, a nymph known for her chastity. She was fleeing from Pan and uh, prayed to the goddesses to save her, and uh, she was turned into a hollow reed by the side of the river, and Pan not to be outsmarted, cut the reed, made himself a panpipe, or a syrinx, um, which was forever afterward by his side. So, you know, Pan gets the last word. And I love this little study. You hear um, Pan sort of beating his chest uh, in machismo early on. You hear Syrinx, terrified, trembling, hiding. You hear uh, her transformation and Pan going, in frustration and hearing the uh, the breeze over the reeds it gives him an idea. He cuts it, he discovers the panpipe um, and plays on it and at the very very end there's one little last like from Syrinx because she's still in there um, even though she lost that battle. Uh, the second piece, Niobe, is all about the sorrow of Niobe after her uh, 14 children were killed and uh, the piece is called Niobe, who, mourning the death of her 14 children, was turned into a mountain. So she undergoes a dramatic transformation in the middle in which she just, like, cries herself out, and then she becomes still, like, rock at the end. So beautiful, so intense. And the third piece, um, Bacchus, at whose feasts is heard the noise of gaggling women's tattling tongues and shouting out of boys. Um, this one is basically about people getting drunk. Um, and it's a, got a, a lot of different character studies, but the real story... Oh, sorry. The real story is at the end where um, uh, Bacchus is enraged at three women who refuse to... five women, I think, who refuse to party with him and instead sit inside spinning on their looms and gossiping. Um, and in his rage, he turns them into bats. And you'll hear that at the end of the piece. It's totally charming and I love it. Um, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy these works from Benjamin Britten's Six Metamorphoses after Ovid.
Baroque on Beaver audience. Uh, welcome to my home and my music studio. I am so disappointed not to be sharing music with you on the island this year, but I am grateful for a chance to do a bit of that virtually. The piece I will be playing for you is Fantasy in A Minor by Telemann. It is one of the few surviving works for solo flute from the Baroque period. And it consists of four short movements, alternating in tempo, slow, and fast.
play for you now is Nocturne in C sharp minor by Chopin. And it was dedicated to his older sister with whom he was very close. And it was not published until roughly 20 years after his death. Uh, you'll hear it is very sad and somber in nature. Um, however, there are a few moments of hope and optimism that you'll hear throughout the piece. Um, famous story about this piece actually took place during the Holocaust. Uh, there was a, a prisoner who was known to have been a good piano player. And one day the commandant called upon her to play for him. And this happened to be the piece that she chose uh, because it is such a sad piece. And of course, it was a very sad time in her life. And uh, as soon as she got uh, finished playing, he was so impressed and moved by her playing that he said she would be allowed to live. Uh, to which she bravely replied, not unless my sister can live as well. Her sister was in the camp with her. And surprisingly, he agreed to that, and both of their lives were saved that day.
Hi, this is Mark Buckner. I'm the principal double bassist of the Baroque on Beaver Festival Orchestra. I'm pretty sad that we won't be able to be up there this year, but I'm, I'm pleased to share a couple of recordings that I've made for you. Uh, two short pieces. One is the vocalese from Sergei Rachmaninoff. That was originally composed for, for voice in piano, but I think it fits really well on the bass. Very singing quality. The second piece would be by Giovanni Bottasini. It's the elegy in, in D. Uh, Bottasini was one of the best solo bass players himself in the, in the 1800s. So he wrote many short pieces, and this, this is one of my favorites. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, again, I'm sad that we can't be up there. I'm missing everybody. Uh, and hopefully we will see you next summer. Enjoy.